Hey, what's up guys? And today, check engine light came on my sign TC. So what I did, I went to AutoZone to borrow their OBD2 scanner. So I scanned my sign TC and it gave me this code P0351. What that is? That is the ignition coil. So today, I'm going to show you how to replace the ignition coil. So might as well how to replace the spark plugs on sign TC. Let's go. So this is what the coil ignition look like. So you got one of them two three and four so what we're gonna do we're gonna take off those connector first it's just press and pull super easy now we're gonna use the spark plugs called ngk they are all pre-gap then we're gonna use this anti-seize compound so we're gonna use the duralas ignition coil packs i'll put i will put all the description down below the link where you can get all this at we are on the mission right here shake and bake push and pull we got the connectors out we're gonna take all the connectors first so we on to the second one push and pull shake and bake him this one is out let me do the fourth one i'm gonna do the third one last push the clip and pull it out at the same time so you're gonna shake it wiggle it <laughs> this one is out we're on to the last one blow it's out we're gonna take this bolt out using 10 millimeter. Okay, you can use whatever you want. Deep socket, you can use wrench. As long as you get them out, take them screw out, the bolt out. Then what you're gonna do, you're gonna pull up on the coil. Pull them up. You're gonna hear a pop. Pop, blow. This one is out. And as you can see, this is the old one and we into the second one same thing 10 milli lefty loosey you can use socket wrench you can use your fingers if you can take them out with your fingers pull them up all you have to do is pull them up we're on to the third one lefty loosey put the bolt up in there make sure this gasket make sure you get him out because you don't want to put top of uh, another gasket on top of the gasket that's not good so take that out and pull them up the third one and then we're into the last one okay lefty Lucy 10 milli okay take him out so we're gonna get all this four out and we're gonna throw it in the trash we don't need that blow now what we're gonna do what I like to do is I get the new spark plugs okay what I'm gonna do I'm gonna size him up so I'm gonna use that 5 8 um, spark plugs with the rubber inside so it holds up uh, the spark plugs when you take them out so that one is good it fits so we're gonna drop it down we're gonna take the old one out lefty Lucy take the old spark plugs out this one might take a while lefty Lucy because there's a lot of threads in it you'll see later that the threads are deep okay can you see it yeah I see a lot of threads so it might take a minute so be patient when you take off them spark plugs so what I do I'm gonna put the anti-seize compound on the thread so next time when you take off them spark plugs it'll be easy for you it won't seize up because when it sees up it heats up and then it's hard for you to take off so you put the anti-seize on the thread so we're gonna put the new one in you're gonna drop it like it's hot down below and then you're gonna go righty tighty like what I said this might take a while because the thread they are deep so be patient keep on working listen to music whatever you want to do so this is the new packs okay you can mix them up it doesn't have to go this way on that way so you just make sure you line them up where the bolts go right there make sure you line them up okay so you can mix and match it it don't matter it doesn't go this way or that way you can go the other way but make sure you see the bolt it goes up in there all right we're gonna tie them up using 10 milli righty tidy so we're gonna do the same thing to all three of them that got left all right push it down all right so we're gonna put the connector all the connectors in you're just gonna snap it all you have to do is push it push it real good uh push it push it that one already did that one and 
push it, blah, just like that. Okay, all secured. Turn on the ignition. Start the car. Make sure they are not misfiring. Make sure they're running smooth. It's not shaking. The car is not shaking. It's good. That's how it's supposed to be. So it's not misfiring. All goody. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment if you got any questions.